Chicago, this is Sam Kennison. And the reason I love Chicago is because Stephen Gary gave me this town. They're my buddies. You're listening to them right now. Rock and roll with them. I wish I was here because if I was, I could get us off the air. I know it. Oh, oh. Hi, this is Sam Kennison. Listen, have you had enough of Stephen Gary? I don't think so. If you haven't, call this number. Call 976-8686 for the Stephen Gary hotline for more rock and roll craziness. Oh, oh. Welcome to contemporary American history. I'm Professor Turgeson. You know, a lot of people think history is just facts. It's just information about the past. But not me. I mean, I hold history very sacred. Sacred. The way the farmer looks at the earth and he holds it sacred. The way a Christian takes the Bible and he holds it sacred. The way a lot of people hold their marriage sacred. So I feel about it. So why don't we dive right in by interpreting one of the easiest events in the last 20 years of American history. Now, can someone tell me why in 1975 we pulled our troops out of Vietnam? The failure of Vietnamization to impart their support caused an ongoing erosion of confidence in the various American but illegal Saigon regimes. Is she right? Because I know that's the popular version of what went on there. And a lot of people like to believe that. I wish I could, but I was there. I wasn't here in the classroom, hoping I was right, thinking about it. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with guns and Edward going up against Charlie, slugging it out with him, while pussies like you were back here partying, putting headbands on, doing drugs, listening to the goddamn Beatle albums. Hi, this is Sam Kennison. You know, whenever I'm in Chicago, I like to turn on the loop, and when you when you say the word scum bag, there's only two guys, well, maybe three if you include me, but there's only two guys that really live up to the scum bag name, and that's, of course, my good friends and partners in crime, Stephen Gary. Oh, oh, scum! I just came in on the tail end of it. <laughs> Did Santa come yet, Gary? Kind of everything was kind of planned around three o'clock. No, <laughs> why? The schedule's off. He's self-contained, babe. We broadcast till he gets here. Really, come on. Every if he's if we have to go through this every time. We're not going to have any more guests because it drives me nuts. See here, Rick comes. Should I call? Was, hey, he'll be, he might not even show up. It's Sam Kinison. Really, Gary, and I'd hate for that to happen after that uh, heartbreaking Christmas where you didn't get anything. Yeah. See, everything's yeah. So maybe that's why you, that. maybe that's why you're so into it. But relax, uh, he'll be here. I know he will. Okay. There's somebody coming in the door, Gary. Is it him? No. No. There's somebody else. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. All right. He's yeah. going the other way. No, this way. Come back. Go left. Go left. <laughs> go right. <laughs> there we go. Now we gotta tell him about saying <laughs> stuff about that guy. Really, from Rolling Stone, I had a nightmare about it. He's gonna libel him. He's gonna say stuff. I know exactly what he's gonna say. He's gonna libel him. And then it's gonna be our asses. You know, they got a sales office in town. They're probably listening. So you just have to be careful, that's all. That's all. That's all I ask. Now, be careful. Whatever you do, whatever you do, We're don't libel the guy from Rolling Stone. Oh, <laughs> the man that you guys had on your morning radio show. I didn't have that a was Johnny. Now. That was John Brandemeyer, which is why I've never done his show. Thank you. But you know what, John? Hi, Sam. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Who loves you more than me? <laughs> see you. Is he here? I'll kill him. I'll cut his head off and make him taste it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Isn't fame wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> Appears to be fleeting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, just kidding. Oh, gotcha. Just kidding. You put one Howard seconds. Stern thing on a record yeah. because he induced it, introduced <laughs> me to Jessica. <laughs> God. I did. Well, I wasn't even referring to that. Yeah, no, but I heard I heard some rumors. I hear things. Well, I hear you know, things. We were hurt for a few days. Yeah, but how we I got over it. How come we weren't thanked on the album? I don't know. I had nothing to do with that. No? I don't put those titles together. Oh. But I was kind of thinking that when I saw the HBO special with you guys with the Richard Lewis, you know, <laughs> the comic from hell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if Colombo and Jerry Seinfeld had a kid, it would go something like this. Thank you. But, uh, you guys know you're my favorite? Come on. Who brought you Kevin's Suicide Exclusive? Remember that? That's Wasn't right. that beautiful, huh? That's that was right. a great moment. That's right. 
<laughs> You're coming in from Milwaukee, we understand. Uh, I never I never catch this place in the right weather. No. What am I wearing these for? Because it's cold? It's like, oh, but, oh, there it is, the vine. Great. Yeah, I always like, there, I can hear myself. Ah, uh, yes. You sound hot, don't you? Last time I was here, it was like... Whew. Well, we're in the middle of the dust bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's about 60 below right now. It's I like this weather, cold. though. You like this? Yeah, it's a little gaming play with the DEA called Find the Snow in the Snow. <laughs> <laughs> but. Hey, we, we... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we are. All right. You guys look hey, like rock and have pyramid papers, man. Oh, I missed you guys. How you been? Good. 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 We've been reading about you, hearing oh, about you. I try to make the press as much as possible. You should try to get more positive press. This jerk from the stone. What an idiot, man. Well, what about that Premier Magazine piece, too? Well, that, yeah, it was a woman. What'd you expect? You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. I've been alone with a man. You know. <laughs> you expect that from a woman, not from a man. <laughs> That conveniently leaves the country three three weeks while the magazines on the stand. Yeah, he's just conveniently on assignment now. Nobody can find him for the next three weeks, but we got plenty of time. Is he suing now, what's you? The, what's this we heard suing about me. you leaving I'll a message on his... You, you left I'll a, beat any suit that he comes up with. <laughs> you left a message on his answering machine that said you were going to kill him? Is that? He didn't understand my sense of humor. Yeah. You, know, you guys know me. Yeah. I'm a funny guy. I, I just keep that as uh, a memento. It's a memento. Yeah. I called him up. I lived out that old fantasy. I think it was... What, I think it was actually one of the, I think Bob Hope and Bing Crosby did first one of the on the road pictures. It was where you call the guy up. It's an old routine. You call, you, call the guy up, you call the guy up, you read his address to him and his phone number. The names of his kids. Yeah. Like, this guy didn't even know comedy. How could he not know I think I saw that in The Godfather. There you I go. Think, yeah, that's yeah. where I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like being on the cover of the Rolling Stone magazine? Oh, it's great, especially when they use a picture that you didn't approve. So they gave me a whole other shot. They gave me a shot like I'm Samson, you know, and I'm stretched out here with the chains. I look glorious and magnificent. And then you get this. Well, it's not bad. Oh, man. it's terrible, man. I look like a donkey going, eon, eon. <laughs> okay, okay. It was like, the what Jessica is, hot. The Jessica shot was okay. I didn't mind that one. No, that's, that's definitely what, What's the story on that, Sam? What, what's it like rolling around in the pit All right, let's move on. But, uh, <laughs> it was a brief affair. It was hit and run, you yeah. know. The video is, uh... <laughs> you wanted to know? Yeah, no. the video is... Uh, oh, there's a happy shot, huh? Th this is the shot that I think... Yeah, this looks like Oswald before they walk him down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> and he was going, why are you guys stretching me out? <laughs> <laughs> That's what that picture looks like. <laughs> So are you saying Oswald was well, Oswald was set up so Jack so Jack couldn't miss? Yeah, give me give me the Kennedy conspiracy now. I have an excuse. I was sick that day. I was only nine years old. <laughs> We're losing Steve. We're losing him. Steve, Steve, hold on. Oh, I've been trying man. to pin the Kennedy assassination on me. I'm nine years old. I'm off that day because I'm sick. Nobody buys it, and oh. I can't prove anything now. You know. <laughs> I, need, I need some water, man. We got a Brian hey, Wilson. Good on that one. I we, felt that. I laughed all the way down to my balls. On that. <laughs> you know how you do that? Sometimes? Hey, watch the yeah. language. And you feel it. Wait, that's it. Oh, but you know, all the way down to my balls. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, I feel better now, though. Mm. I do. <laughs> Spread that Richard Lewis comedy that gets you about right here at the top of your lungs. It's like, that's yeah, it. <laughs> uh, Richard's all right. We had fun. Hey, he's a good buddy of Stearns. Yeah, he, yeah, he we does. Don't care about we don't care about anymore. I don't care. I wouldn't hurt do anything to hurt you guys. I love no, you guys. No, no, no. Everywhere I, I went to Hawaii to dry out. Oh, did I say that? Is this thing on? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> everywhere I go, I, I leave. I leave the. I leave the intercontinental United States. I go three thousand miles west towards Japan. <laughs> I'm over in Hawaii. Guys come up to me, Stevie Gary, Stevie Gary, dude. Uh. <laughs> you guys have like international fans. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We're going to Hawaii in a week and a half. Oh, you to dry out. Yeah. To dry out. That's yeah. the move. Yeah. Well, we still got tonight then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, know. for you DEA agents that are listening, that'll be tonight <laughs> at Sabrina's. Don't miss it tonight. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Um, I saw I saw your bar then, and I almost came in surprise you. Oh, you've been in town last night, back yeah. and forth. Oh, you came in last night. Yes, yeah, after the Milwaukee show. I don't know if you'd be there though. But I was there, but uh, there's always tonight. The, he's, he's the, always the girls as the Rolling Stone referred to as the whores, which was really nice of them. Your girlfriend. But, yeah, you remember Malik yeah. and Sabrina. They're here. Right. Not here in the building, but, you know, they're here. Mm -hmm. And uh, she always loved that place because it was named Sabrina. Yeah, his girlfriend's sister is named Sabrina. Have you seen them? Have you seen these women? Yeah, I read oh, about them. They're I... gorgeous, man. Oh, that's why this guy hates them. my guts. I live more in 10 minutes than he has yeah. in 10 years, yeah. man. Yeah. 
And because you buy house. videos, you don't rent them. You buy That's them. That's right, I buy them. I haven't got time to rewind. <laughs> <laughs> you buy them, you run them, you throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> you like seeing comedians in bad movies. That's, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Plenty That's of those to go guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want a good buzz, <laughs> rip Whoopi Goldberg and telephone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see the studio meeting when they ran this. <laughs> but is this a joke or the updates? <laughs> What do you mean this is the film? The camera never leaves the room! Whose idea was that? <laughs> this is the movie, it's the pigeon hall! Hey! <laughs> Oh, and God. Bob Golf, Golf, oh. wait, Golf. Yeah. So Golf you can't always say because you're in comedy. Anybody with comedy, get good. Get help. Well, he had that great movie with the horse. Oh yeah, <laughs> Don the horse. John Candy did that movie over the phone. <laughs> 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 he didn't have to stay, show up as soon as I, yeah, a horse is a horse. I got this right here? Okay. Uh, well, buddy. <laughs> you know. uh, I'd rather be in gay porn, man. I really would. I'd rather have my son someday go, Dad, is this you under the sombrero and the sailor? <laughs> oh, yes, Tom, but I had to make the money. Rather than, like, <laughs> Dad, this isn't you on top of the false rocking horse in a cup with an actual racehorse, is it? No. <laughs> No, I did gay porn, but I never did a stupid comedy movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, we're in Chicago. I love this town, man. I already had Geno's East. I broke in. Yeah. I'm rocking, yeah. Killer pizza. Got yeah. the big show tonight. Sold out. Hot Been sold out yeah. for a Very couple weeks. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. You're well, happening. thank God they sold them before this hit the stands. For every cat owner is going, oh, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he sacrificed his cat? Yeah, is that <laughs> what true? Is that about? What's oh, that you know what about, the guy huh? did? Let me read this to you. Let me show you what the guy did. This guy thinks he's so smart. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah, he says stuff like, yeah, during all of his struggling years as a, uh, as a comic, in fact, Kennison got by without ever once working a day job. <laughs> you know, and there's no, no insinuation there, is there? <laughs> well, I wonder what he did for money, honey. <laughs> this guy's such a creep, man. I hope he gets every disease that's in the Old Testament at once. <laughs> Oh, where's the thing with the cats? Hold on. Yeah, there's uh, something about a jerk. sacrifice before every show. Yeah, yeah, like I got time for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, here he goes. This is what he says. Vicious rumors abound. He starts the, he starts the thing off with that. Yeah. Vicious rumors abound. Three words. You don't even really pay attention to it. And, and especially the dumb idiot that buys this magazine, most of them, wouldn't pay attention to that. Yeah. All right, so you read on. He goes, he thinks he's a savior figure, leads a cult of comics and satanic rituals. Now, these are all rumors. But by the time you're there, you're going, huh? He says, what? <laughs> rituals? Satanic rituals on top of the Sunset Hyatt? <laughs> that must be because they give such a great group rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and that he kills. He goes on. I haven't been on stage at the comedy store in seven or eight months because I hate her, too. You've been banned. Uh, yeah, yes. uh, I banned her. Yeah. But of course, in this story, she was yeah. planning a wake. Oh, oh, they're kind to themselves. <laughs> yeah, he kills a cat for, for good luck. <laughs> Now, again, I don't want to discourage anybody out there that's taking cat lives. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done it, but don't let it stop you. If it works for you, if you see continue a cat, to do it. That's right. If you see a cat, speed up. And <laughs> <laughs> I hate cats. I've never made any uh, bones about that. I hate cats. But, but to you, uh, I thought the cat was the witch's friend. Or did I miss something here? Isn't the cat supposed to be I, the witch's yeah, friend? Yeah, they have cats. I never heard of cat rituals. Right. Anyway, yeah, this is. The, but anyway, you guys start out with the rumors, and halfway through the article, so you I go, guess we can take those cats we got back to the pet shop. We were going to do well, it no, on top of the handcock at the tip of the cock, <laughs> if you will. But well, this would be it. This would be the place yeah. they hold a satanic ritual, yeah. whatever that is. That's uh, right, because this is where Poltergeist Three was filmed. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Heather Rourke. Yeah. Wow, I remember her. <laughs> <laughs> Half that cast, right? They're up in, uh, wherever they are. Wherever so the we, hear that, is. we hear that you're dating Drew Barrymore now, or as we call her, Drew Partymore. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be perfect for you, Sam. She's off the wagon again, Drew Sam. Party She's ready. More. Either that or Kitty Dukakis, one oh. of those two. Well, you know, I felt sorry for Kitty because she woke up going, no, you could have tried harder! <laughs> <laughs> you're a loser! I, I knew you were a loser. I, where's the bottle? Where's the bottle? <laughs> I knew you were a loser! <laughs> George Bush beat you like you were an invalid. <laughs> you didn't even try. <laughs> well, honey, I did. I did try. I Imagine the hell this man's went through after since the election. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we got to take care of some biz, right? Yeah. <laughs> give 
just have a chance to relax and, and open know, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And right. bottle that jolt that you guys keep around here. Yeah. 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 Oh, and one thousand yeah. with Steve Gary and Sam Kinison. W L U P A up the car going now. Back to Steve Gary and Sam Kinison. Thank you, Cliff. <laughs> mm hmm. How you doing? Well, I'm doing fine, sir. Plug that in for me there, Gear. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, Sam, we heard a little story about uh, about the airports and uh, 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 somebody's luggage, apparently not yours, that had some yeah, uh, marijuana some, some, in it. Some out of control, reckless prankster. Mm -hmm. uh, you never know. It's Gosh, like that's doesn't happen, happen a lot. It happens a lot, it seems. We're sitting business. there. Bill was there. My brother, of course, is tour manager. One of the few I have left. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, we one of the few you haven't driven to suicide oh, yet. That's right. I'm working. I'm working on him. I'm working on him. All right, but it, <laughs> it does look a little tense. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I push him over the edge because uh, they all want to be me. And it's, uh, you know, two more to go, and then uh, Will's mine. I'll own the home. <laughs> Dad's boat. Oh. <laughs> no, we I, I think airport. we're going to need a, a 911 <laughs> I need um, a cough setup. drop. i got to have the, one of the Bride Wilson Memorial cough drops. You know, I've had a, a cough, too, ever since they had the DEA agents had me out in the rain in L.A. for like an hour and a half going through all our luggage. Somebody put a put a tip in, I guess, that we were moving a big shipment of, of that white stuff to <laughs> uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, wait, come yeah. on. you got to be kidding. I have a career. Things aren't that, yet, that rough yet. <laughs> And so they went through the whole thing, and then some prankster, some prankster, I guess, had put a, a piece of luggage in there with uh, some pot in there. That uh, of course you had no corresponding ticket stubs. No. no. And uh, well, I, I think they, uh, we may have had. I'm not sure. But that was I may or may not have had, as Oliver North once said. <laughs> I may or may not have. The prankster apparently slipped those in as well uh, into your ticket wallet. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a publisher of a very well-known rock <laughs> magazine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Rolling Rock. <laughs> So nothing happened, though? No, because, you know, it's a misdemeanor in California, Just say no. number one. And no, it's not mine. That's what Nancy Reagan said to do. <laughs> Is this your bag? No. no. <laughs> Just say no. No. <laughs> no. Do you want an attorney? No. <laughs> do you understand your rights? No. No. We don't want to understand our rights. We're oh, gonna... the Coke's here. Coca-Cola. 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 Here, listen, folks. That's, that's a liquid. <sighs> Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to say Coca-Cola now instead yeah. of Coke. Or they go, the door's wide open. Well, you don't want to be floor. standing outside for an hour and a half today, I don't think. No. That might be a little too no, much. Find the snow in the snow. But, uh... <laughs> God, they'd have been there ten minutes earlier in that limo. But time is everything, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, you're a comedian. You're famous we're gonna, for your this before we hit the train. <laughs> we're going to do some traffic with uh, Leslie. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Lane. Thank you, baby. Are you free tonight? Oh. Is she pretty? Yes. Mm -hmm. She is? Are you free tonight, Lane? For Sam? <sighs> well, I've had some interesting dates. Only if I can be a charming little guy. ring. <laughs> Listen to it. You can pound nails that with it. That little ring. <laughs> you can pound nails with it. You're not talking about the ring Elvis used to play with. Uh, no, I'm talking about the <laughs> one that we can roll around in, like in the video. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, exactly. While Billy Idol Thank watches. You. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was his Christmas. I'm wearing Billy Idol's crystal that he gave me for Christmas, which is That really is scary. very nice. And when I come to think of it, nothing bad happened to me. Do I put this on? Oh, my God. <laughs> Any interesting story uh, or stories going around with that video? Uh, well, it was a little bit of a party. Mm -hmm. course, and, uh, Jessica seemed very relaxed in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, there had been uh, some, some... We'd worked very hard to get that mood a couple of dates before that. Uh -huh. You can't fake that. I'm not yeah. a good an actor to fake that role that they left in there. You know, that mm -hmm. was pretty hot. Uh, yeah, that was. Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty nice little <laughs> outfit she had on, too. Well, I just wanted Jim Baker to see it somewhere and go, Oh, I hate that fat guy! <laughs> I hate him! <laughs> that chubby bastard! I hope he dies and I get you know. Oh, you know that I had to spin him. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And guess what, Jim? I didn't have to hold her down. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> How did you meet her? It was God. It was an act of God. Howard Stern, right? Actually, yeah, Stern first with his phone calls and that stuff that he does. And I ran into her at the Playboy Mansion. And then she came to the comedy store. And Before you were banned came, for, for wrecking and, uh, the place. Uh, yeah, 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 you wrecked it. Uh, yeah. You wrecked it. How can you wreck a comedy club? Most of them are... Yeah, they're toilets to begin with. <laughs> so bad. There's two comics that are out there somewhere in the country that are still shaking. They're waking up in a cold sweat and I go, Oh! Oh, I thought he was in the room. And I'm going to find him. You I'll did find it while him. they were on stage? I'll find him, man. No, I haven't found him yet. I haven't ran into him. No, I do, explain. There'll what? be some more headlines. You guys are going, oh, Sam's in the news again. <laughs> Kennison rested for senselessly beating a man <laughs> until he made him do his own act. 
Uh, uh, what happened then exactly? Because I, maybe I don't know this. Well, according to the Stone, Mitzi Shore owns a comedy store. I came back from my brother's uh, tragedy and uh, you came in and wrecked the place. That's what I read. Yeah, yeah look, she was planning a wake with Roseanne Barge. <laughs> <laughs> Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr would like to choke on my own blood and vomit. That's how much, that's how much compassion Roseanne Barr has for me. I read that. That was comedy. Oh, oh. And then you were... Oh, they were planning away. You missed the plane. This, that's what it says in Rolling Stone. You missed the plane and you didn't show up, and then you got there and you were mad. Yeah, well, here's what happened. Here's Because I wouldn't lie to you guys. I have right. nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide. You prove. never do. My reputation is, is ruined it anyway. speaks for so, itself. Yeah, it's hard. You know. But yeah, this... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your box office poison. I was up in New York, and I had to leave my brother's funeral and do six shows straight to a night. So the funeral... Now, did you do those because day. you thought the show must go on or because you had to? Well, I was committed, and I thought it would be good. Ther seriously, I thought it would be, like, uh, good therapy just to to not even let it register enough to, to where it was a weird thing to get up and make people laugh, even though you're, like, ripped out inside. You know, I thought, well, if I just go on and not let this affect me, maybe I can outrun it. Still, you know, because at the time, I didn't have six months to take off and grieve. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was like a real rough time in my career, and like, like it's smooth now. <laughs> it's smooth yeah. sailing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so I went and did the six shows. I'm in New York. It's Friday night. Now, this is the first time it's actually hit me. I mean, everything. The shows are done now. There's no family around. I have to be strong for anybody. So, of course, I'm, I'm rocking and rolling, you know. I'm out of control. Mm -hmm. to, and as a term that we like to use in this business. And, uh, <laughs> cool. And I went to the China Club. It was a club there in New York City. And, uh, we, I mean, we, we got crazy. They let us stay till like, 9 in the morning. And I, I missed him. I was crying and drinking. And, and people were coming up. And, like, you know, then you're, like, you're throwing people. You're like, oh, how do you know? You don't even know him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. It's your best friend. You're like, oh, how do you understand? You know, that kind of stuff. So I fly home. I get there. And then I go to the comedy store because I'm looking. I thought, well, maybe I could, you know, see Mitzi or something. Maybe that made me feel better. I get there, and then this one guy I hate. I come back with my guys, Mitchell. The guys are in the show. Mm -hmm. All right? The outlaws. Mitzi had been renting Mitchell to get the chubby guy on the left here, in here. And, uh, yeah, like I'm in shape. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, Mitchell. Mm -hmm. You've seen that. Uh, he, he, he was a writer for the store and, and helped out. Right? She has his stuff thrown in, a, in out, outside in a corner while we've been gone. And that this other scumbag, who I will find and beat if it's the last thing I do in his life. You know, she's let him move in, right? So, I, and this, the, this is the guy's going, going... He was living there he was the guy was material. Going, he was the guy was going, Kevin, the reason Kevin took his life because of my lifestyle, and his dad committed suicide, and he knew everything. I'm mean, oh, really? Yeah. Let me find this Well, why guy. did she kick the other guy out? Oh, uh, well, it's long political <laughs> BS, basically. Okay. But he was living there and, like, emceeing and writing, or...? Yeah, you know, and, and, you know, she's held these three guys particularly back for some reason. She never gave him a break. She never gave mm -hmm. me a break. She's got like uh, uh, 15, 20 comics out there that she's had their lives on hold for the last 15, 20 years, you know, or 10 years, whatever. It's like a, like a winery. You keep some back. Well, yeah. So you always she's have something a club in owner. stock. Bottom line is she's a club owner. She doesn't want to see these guys go because then she has to develop new talent. She just as soon sit around there and play like she's some phony, wrinkled queen <laughs> of uh, some comedy thing, you know? <clears throat> so anyway, I'm looking for this guy, and, I was going, and they're hiding him from me. You mm -hmm. know, so I don't know where I'm looking all over town. So the I guy find who said all this stuff about your brother. Yeah. You. So I said, oh, you're his best friend. He goes, yeah. I said, well, you'll do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell him get back see, to him. He gets a lot more of this. So now it's the next day. It's the next day. Now it's Monday. And I wake up and I'm like, oh, man, I did all that. I mean, it's the first time I've been sober maybe in three days. Because, I mean, you know, it's a family tragedy. It ain't like something right. that... You know, I put this kid in rehab, man. I tried to save him. I don't want him to die. You know, so it's like, it's the first day, all that, you know, I'm sobering up now. And I'm going, okay, I better go down to the comedy store and apologize. And, and if, I, if I, we didn't wreck anything. We put this guy's shoes in, a, in his toilet. And then we had one of our friends who wasn't feeling well that day. <laughs> oh, I get the picture. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it was a very messy thing mm -hmm. to do. But what are you going to do? It's comedy, man. And... Uh, <laughs> So I, got, I called Alan Stevens, who's also one of the, the outlaws, because we all walked out together after all this. But anyway, he called Mitzi. Mitzi said, yeah, have Sam come down to 11 by himself and uh, come to the comedy store and we'll talk it out. I said, okay. So I go down there by myself. I walk in. They go, yeah, she's back there in her office. I walk in. Here's two federal sheriffs 
with that are with the, the special force branch of the DEA that are out to bust celebrities and sports figures. And she's going, Auntie Anne, Auntie Anne, he's the pinnacle, he's the he's the pinnacle of the drug problem here in Hollywood, you know, the Chinese star. I like the way your eyes roll up in your head when you tell that one. Oh, let me, let me nickname you Judas, Judas. So I talked to them for about 45 minutes, and I looked at her and I said, I'll never be back. And I hope you go to hell. I hope all your kids blow their brains out. We'll see what's funny then. You ugly, wrinkled, biologically decaying sack of unfunny... Oh, anyway, but... <laughs> so I walked out, and these other friends of mine walked with me, and we never went back. But it wasn't the pretty little picture they painted no. on the stone. No. Yeah, she was planning they, a wake party. Yeah, she, like she was doing you a favor, turning yeah. you into the feds. Yeah, she just happened to see. I just happened to walk in. See her talking to the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, that's a, that, those are the people you call when somebody this, you, you care about has a drug problem. Yeah, well, I just, I just wish she was around when Lenny Bruce was having problems so she could have turned him in and helped him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own good, Lenny. We're turning you in. <laughs> Sure, uh, she, she deserves the axe that she has at that run-down hole. <laughs> the comedy sewers. We now they, they did get that right. That was nice. Yeah. It's amazing how you can tell a guy a story. A guy spends three days with you. You tell him the truth. You got you have no reason. To, yeah, and twenty other people not, telling the same truth. Mm -hmm. Right, but it but they've got to be selective enough so that they can create some sort of a, a controversy and. I got to tell you, I did not expect make this you to look bad. I expected a little, a little color. Well, they, 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 but this is very yeah. national they, inquiry, man. They based I mean, their reputation like, on truth. It was very gossip, mm -hmm. gossip, rag sheet kind of journalism. And, you know, I mean, yeah. that's and not a good want. picture on the cover, according to you. No, this is not the one they showed me. I've got it. I should have brought it. Uh, this is not what they sent me and said they were going to use. So as soon, as soon as I got this issue, I went, oh, man, uh -oh. I'm in trouble right there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because I was doing this as a joke. I was going, because the guy was going, let's get some of you screaming. I went, oh, that'll be different. Yeah. Like every picture isn't me screaming, you know? Well, they wanted to make it look more like the beast inside the beast. Yeah, it's it kind of funny that there was a DEA investigation going on right up just uh, a week before this was published. I mean, handcuffs, too. Yeah. That was real funny. <laughs> this happens to be a coincidence, I'm sure. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and I think we have to do the news. Okay. In fact, what time I know. do you have to leave? Uh, I'm here with you guys, whatever you need. Okay. Instead of seven. Whatever you want. I'm here. Okay. Well, <laughs> why don't we uh, break and then have Karen come in? Oh. And then... Have who come in? Karen. Bill's over here sweating, going, oh, God, it's a whole other group of liars now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll uh, take care of some business. We'll do the news, and Sam will be here, and we'll take... Well, why don't we take some calls after this? Yeah, after the news. Okay. There you go. Hey, AM 1000, Steve Gary, Sam Kinison, Kerry is here at the news, and... Your engineering? What? Should we set up a microphone here for Sam? Um, what do yeah. you want to do? We want to move someplace where we have more microphones. Uh, Sorry, can I, we just I'll join just, you I'll over just, here? I'll just provide yeah, why don't you join? Seconds. It's okay. All right, well, yeah, it's, you can hear Sam, even if he's off mic. That's true. Yeah. Is he too much standing there you go. to you, Gary? Here. I know you had a wake plan, too, for me, and I appreciate mm -hmm. it. He did. He was so upset. A wake party. All right. We're we have ready. a lot of news in Sam's honor today. A few stories from Peoria. Goldthwaite found dead. Oh. A little Goldthwaite tape. <laughs> but let's start with the serious stuff. There are no survivors in the crash. It's kind of an interesting pairing there to see Gary and Sam right next to it each is other like scary. that, isn't it? It's scary. It could be the future, a man. vision in black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A satanic vision in black. <laughs> Uh, there are no survivors in the crash of an American plane full of Italian tourists in Portugal. The Boeing 707 with 144 people on board slammed into a fog-shrouded mountain. I thought they called those things Boeings because they bounced. <laughs> Not in the Azores, they don't. <laughs> en route from Italy to the Dominican Republic and Jamaica, all seven crew members were Americans. Again, uh -huh. President Bush is defending his nominee to head the Defense Department, John Tower. The committee conducting confirmation I hearings... I partied with them. But Tower? Yeah. He's a party monster. Oh. I believe Oh, yeah. The Four bangs, escort the services booze. in one night. Not ten. <laughs> I want more. I want more. <laughs> the committee conducting confirmation hearings has put its vote on hold for at least ten days while new allegations about Tower's finances can be checked. The president is saying, enough already. Let's vote. Did they say that other while, he was, while he was in the struggling years and for the Senate, he got by without ever having to work a day job? Each one of them is that one of the problems? Sam, you are interrupting the president of the United States of America! So you godless communist bastard! That's the question start, I would start it over, Gary. I will not stand for that, Samuel. Oh, my God. 
What kind of a heinous individual are you? I think you? we can see why Mitzi doesn't like you. Yeah, yeah, Maybe I'm starting yeah, to believe a little bit more about what I read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why, why don't you pop on the speakers back there on the tape, and then he can, on the tape recorder, he can hear it, too. We, uh... We don't have all the electronics in here that we need. Turn that monitor up. Boy, yeah. Howard Stern's got a lot better. Yeah, I know he does. I know he does. He's got state of the art. Yeah, I know he does. There's always some other allegation, and it's my knowledge. To my knowledge, each one of them has been reviewed and shot down in flames. So, what's fair? What is fair in the American process? That's the question I would rhetorically ask in defense of I'm my. I'm going to interrupt here. The guy has been okay. accused of drinking, womanizing. He, he's got he's received seven hundred fifty thousand dollars from defense contractors. All right, he can open for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Democrats on the Senate Armed Services Committee, including Chairman Sam Nunn, are still troubled by the FBI findings. Nunn says if the vote were held today, he'd vote against Tower. Senator Barbara Mikulski wants uh, more than President Bush's plan to rescue the Savings and Loan Administration. Uh, the Maryland Democrat wants revenge. Today, she suggested putting the owners of failed SNLs in stocks and letting depositors take a whack at some of them. <laughs> you might want to date her, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't... Well, well, they get off Towers back. The guy parties a little bit. Yeah. It's a big deal. That's so some he, fun. He flirted with a few women and they had some drinks, you know? <laughs> Hey, so what if we leave a drunk? He didn't call up the Ayatollah and go, listen, could you please hold those hostages till January 1st so Carter doesn't have a chance? <laughs> so what if he's drunk and he wanders into a missile silo with a woman to impress her? Watch this, baby. Watch this. Blow the hell out of about 50,000 gooks right now! Oh, power. Oh, my God, look at that thing. It's so big and long. Uh, oh, God, it's launch, thrusting. Launch. I'm ready to launch. Thrusting! <laughs> I'm like Sam Jr. over here. What's happened? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Jr. Oh, like that doesn't happen every yeah, day. Yeah, but I'm doing this more now. But I like this. It's fun. It feels it's good. Fun. It really does feel. It's very primal. It's like the Capone of comedy. Yeah, it's very it's primal. primal. <laughs> very primal. The Capone brothers, we're back. Yeah, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. It'll be good. On the day after the big debate, Alderman Larry Bloom is smiling over his performance and defending his attacks on Mitch yeah, Daly. What a creep that guy is. Bill, Bill what a Holub. didactic, what a we, condescending creep. We have a report from Bill Holub. Larry Bloom says last night's debate was a breath of fresh air in the campaign. He says it was proof frontrunner Rich Daly doesn't understand city government. Bloom spent most of the debate criticizing Daly, but he doesn't think he was too harsh to cost himself votes. Yeah. If Richie can't take the heat, he should get out of the kitchen. Oh, sure, oh that's original. Remember, this is Chicago politics, Rich. It's in your family's history. See, there he goes with that. Adam Thompson. Be afraid to come out and take your lumps. I'll take mine. You take yours if they're deserved. As to the question, does he think Rich Daly is dumb? Bloom says he'll let the voters who saw the debate decide that. Mm, sir, I'm Bill Holland. He didn't Holland, go to University of Chicago. News. Actually, I think he did, didn't he? Where did he go to law school, Richie Daly? Probably not. I know, I was going to miss that question. I wasn't prepared for a test. Bloom is your classic turd in the punch bowl, if you yeah. ask me. By the way, Mayor Sawyer... You can quote me on that. <laughs> she looks like a substitute teacher. She's like, I bet this isn't my class every day. <laughs> no, no, I'm glad it's my... It is my class yeah. every day. Mayor Sawyer says that he's pleased with his performance, uh, but he wishes he remembered the scripture a little bit better. Richie Daly did go to University of Chicago? See, I like that. That's information department. That's great. <laughs> Fast facts. It's the world, Sammy. Another story from... Daly went to Chicago. Daly went to... Yeah, I was going to say, I think that... Well, well, why did I get a note that because said... Because I think they thought you meant Bloom. Yeah. All right, that little boy's going to be spanked after the show. <laughs> <laughs> put, him in, put him in the irons. <laughs> Matter of fact, we'll give him the we'll give him the we'll give him the misting curling iron treatment uh -oh. tonight. No, I know. After Let David Handelman interview him. <laughs> uh -oh. Here's a nice story from Peoria. There was a teenager charged with attempted murder for a sniper attack yesterday. One of your nephews, Sam. No. He reportedly told his high school classmates to watch for him in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be getting some ink, guys. Well, the guy has show business aspirations. Yeah. Just, it says that's what happens when you don't have good management. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. You try to put your own career together. Yeah. It never yeah. works. Yeah. A 16-year-old is accused of using a semi-automatic rifle to shoot a woman and her infant son as oh, they nice. drove through rural Peoria on Monday. Now, yeah, but what they didn't tell you is that they tried to run him over. 
A Peoria newspaper oh. reports that other students say the suspected sniper was the lead of a secret anti-Satan organization. Sam? Uh-oh, uh -oh, my, life may be on the, my life may not be worth a nickel! <laughs> who was troubled by vivid dreams and voices, which he described in his poetry. Anti-Satan. The boy is described as quiet, intelligent, fascinated with guns, survival games, and fantasy games like Dungeons and Dragons. He needs like your resume, Sam. He needed a girlfriend to break his heart and, and show him that life is meaningless and worthless. And then he could just yeah, go times. within himself and just eat himself from within. Yeah, instead of watching Consume Willow a hundred times on acid or whatever the guy did. <laughs> <laughs> the guy should have got a girlfriend. I'm like, oh, I, I get it now. I'm going to go do this the rest of my life. Deception. No God, I love Ron Howard films. God, I love them. <laughs> Does he still get to make any? <laughs> I don't know. He made Willow, oh, he didn't Willow. He? Yeah, they get to <laughs> Willow. They went, bad boy, Ron. That's it, bad, bad boy. Gung-ho and Willow, you're out. You're out. There's what, a Super what? 8 and a, and a couple really broke women. Let's start over. <laughs> also from Peoria, ancient comedian Pinky Lee has left the hospital where he, so he can recuperate. In a body bag? At home in California <laughs> from a massive heart attack mm. that he suffered while he was in a touring company of sugar babies. He's vowing to return. This is the nightmare. He says... <laughs> To Peoria? Yeah. Ooh. I owe the people here a show. I sure hope I can come back someday and perform. Just buy him a video and call it even. <laughs> when he arrived at St. Francis Medical Center, doctors reported that Lee did not have a pulse. However... Or, or underpants. Never stopped him before. <laughs> he was revived and given a pacemaker. Or any comic timing. <laughs> the comedic timing is gone. Oh. Perfect that you bring that up. Comic Relief 3 is scheduled for March Oh, 18th. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and participants are, of course, drumming up publicity for the oh, event Oh, yeah. We know how much they've done for the homeless so far. Your He's favorite. I haven't seen any on the street, have you? No. Nope. <laughs> Your favorite, Bob <laughs> Goldthwaite, appeared in L.A. to explain <laughs> why he participates. Oh, I want to hear this guy's voice. In charity events like this one. We brought this one in just for you, Steve. Thank you. I always consider comedy the lowest art form. I put it right up there with a wet t-shirt contest or um, mechanical bull ride. So, uh, it figures. I, I, I'm here because it, it makes me feel a little bit less like a dirt bag whenever I do this. That's It's purely selfish reasons. Well, with any if, luck, I, if I may comment. With any luck, he'll be helping Please himself. Do. If I may comment. Well, exactly. You heard what the guy said. The guy's, the, the guy's vision of comedy. Yeah. This is one of the reasons I'm doing Letterman and all these shows over the weekend, Night Watch, later, is because me and my group and try to intend to bring dignity back to comedy, like yourself. Right. Yeah. It's an art form. Mm -hmm. This guy is a dirt bag. His approach to it is filth. He should feel like a thief because any, anybody who ever liked him that went and saw his movies was ripped off of seven bucks, whatever it costs to get in. And he is a dirt bag, and I hope he dies a slow, painful, horrible death. I hope his kid grows up to hate him and shoot him in the head during his sleep. <laughs> and Sam said that, too, about Marvin Gaye, and it happened. That's so. right. I'm a prophet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a loss. No. Not yet, anyway. Oh, hey, and those, uh, you know, I'm doing a real benefit. Not that comic relief stuff. You still see just as many homeless, just as many people without. Yeah. I'm well, having a so benefit much... Valentine's Day for Lenny Bruce's mother. Yeah. And she's getting all the money. I mean, I'd rather help one person that yeah, you imagine know. Imagine what it costs. Nobody ever helped her, man. I mean, they probably they probably clear like thirty grand or something. Yeah, this woman's eighty-two. She's like thousands of dollars in debt. None of those guys that say the f word and and talk about sex and all this. None of them have ever helped her, man. And Lenny Bruce is the reason why right. all of us can get away with this. Right. So I said I will. So Valentine's Day, we're giving her uh, the gate at the Felt Forum in New York, which will be close, probably uh, hopefully between eighty to one hundred thousand dollars. That's great. And she's tripped out. So that's my comic relief. There you go. Brother. But you're a pig. That's right. A rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That's the way to do it. Didn't mean to tirade off into that. The rest of it's just a bunch of I was never invited to that crap. junk, and I'm glad. I wouldn't want to be on Whoopi Goldberg and ugh. Well, they go out and do some improv Goldberg, on wooden yeah. boxes or cardboard boxes. Is this what the homeless are like? Let's sit on cardboard boxes and improv in yeah. our $400 yeah, it's real outfits. Yeah, funny. Real funny issue. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of self-serve. It's like beating off in front of uh, 12,000 people. That's all it is, man. Into, beating off into a collection plate. That's why you and I hated him in high yes. school, and we hate him yes. now, Steve. We never yes. were part of that hypocritical yes. phony group. Yes! Comic relief this! <laughs> Gary? Do you think I'm Pinky Lee will get one dime from these people to help with his uh, hospital bill? No. <laughs> no. No, it'll go into savings, which Bob Zamuda will set up. What they'll do, they'll take the money from Comic Relief, and they'll put it in a, uh, a, a thing for a year, and then they get the interest off that money that was collected, supposedly, for the homeless. The I know the whole the, the rest of the money is used to produce the following show. Well, yeah, well, if you, if you have come up with a couple million dollars, you stick in the year, bank for a year. 
while you're planning those things you're going to help the homeless with. <laughs> it's like, well, well what should we do with all this interest? Well, I don't know. Let's put it in the pie. You put the interest in the pie. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. All right, we'll be back. Don't apologize to me. So what you're saying is you're not supporting it. You're not going to be I'm sending it. I never have and never will yeah. support. I was homeless. And I got by years without ever having a regular day job. <laughs> don't you think they should? Don't you think homeless people should really be apartmentless people? They should be, because a home is a big step. You start with an apartment, maybe just uh, exactly. They should be, maybe they should a, be an old car. Motel. -less. Buy them all old cars at yeah. first and give them a little gas allowance. <laughs> yes, yeah. they're vehicleless, so right they can now. drive around and look look for some kind of. And stay in the adventure car. Adventure that will change their depressed view of life. And stay in the car, maybe like Tom Dreesen put. did. Tom Dreesen lived in his car, That's and, right. and look where he is today. Oh, we used to beg to live in a car. I used to have to sleep with waitresses I didn't even like. I think we read about folding chairs. Didn't we read about yeah, oh, folding yeah, chairs? Oh, yeah, yeah, and, and beer-soaked. Yeah, yeah beer like I'm going to wrap up in a beer-soaked tablecloth. <laughs> nice is this guy an idiot? Yeah, nice you are such a pig. Oh. You are oh. such a pig. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more after these. Carrie, the weather is... Much colder. Fair what? skies, yeah. Oh, good. Hey, it it's snowed two enough. inches in L.A. today. Quit, quit your bitching. It shattered out. I think I'll leave it out. Low tonight, zero to eight below. No. Yeah. Not in February. Oh, yeah. Thursday, mostly sunny and cold, becoming windy in the afternoon with a high up in the teens. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, partly sunny, warmer, high in the middle 20s. Right now, it's... How do I get my hands on a cat? <laughs> <laughs> 13 at the lakefront. 12 at Midway. 11 at O'Hare. I'm Carrie Cochran on AM1000. Thank Please. you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Sam Kinnison is in the studio Please with us. He's all the boys. Carrie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, He's at the Erie Crown tonight. That is sold out. Has been for a few weeks. Who's that? Oh, sold out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I'm rich and arrogant. You're and happening, but... Yeah. Sexually active. Thank you, Jesus. All right, bye. <laughs> I say we take some calls here. 591-9587. Uh, Sam is uh, obviously a little under the weather. He doesn't want to talk about a lot of things, so <laughs> yeah. don't push him. Don't He's a very push private him. man. Yes, to himself. very. Oh, very you're in the air. Hello? Yes, do you have a cat that you want sacrificed? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get Hello. higher than this building, man. This is the place to do it. No. Hello, Sam? Yes? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. hi. Uh, you guys are, are big fans of mine. Oh, oh yes, we are. Especially yeah. when you wear that lacy number. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a hook. Let me explain. This is a prostitute. <laughs> that was, Really? Are, are no, I don't know. I... <laughs> she said we were big hey, fans. Hey, I'm with four of guys on the road right now. You know what I mean? They get their pins out. Look, give me a number. <laughs> Listen, Sam. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that uh, uh, you're a big, you're a big fan of ours, and uh, no, I bought my yeah. husband. You're a big fan of ours. Oh, no, no. Yeah? <laughs> Sam's a big fan of theirs. Well, well, they're big fans of mine. <laughs> Listen, I uh, okay. You bought your husband my tape. My husband, he, you're his favorite comedian Aww. of all time. And well, thank you. For a Christmas gift, I bought him the uh, your HBO special, yeah. which you have on video, and he really loves it. <laughs> and he, he, uh, we also, uh, I want to ask you a question about. Uh, Is there a bird in the background there? I think Sam well, wants to kill that screaming. parakeet. We have Don't a parrot. And he's screaming in the background. I think he knows I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Sam hates parrots. Had good, well, he probably loves me because, uh, uh, of you course, I'm parrot, but I hate cats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's no, 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 no. Kill cats, kill cats. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, want some pussy? <laughs> Cat. Thank you, but you know what you're doing. It's like laying shot. There you go. Sorry. Well, you what can I do for you? What can I answer for you? you know, I wanted to ask you, uh, on that HBO tape, you, yeah. do, you do a, a little skit about uh, airport scenes. And about oh, about girlfriend. the girl that the, packed a gun in my luggage? Yeah. And yeah, I was that was true. Is that, is that true to life? That was uh, true to life. It happened September 1984. Really? A date that will go down in my personal <laughs> infamy. That's like, never, ever let your woman pack your bag again. <laughs> that was you, what she had a gun in there? Yeah, 38, loaded 38. Mm. Oh, loaded. Loaded. <laughs> yeah, I made it a felony. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> what Thank happened? you. What happened? Unloaded, it's Mr. Loaded, it's felony. <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> what happened with all that? Uh, well, I had a clean record. So, uh, and, and plus, they found out it was a hoax and that it was a, the girl did set it up. But the, uh, the New Jersey State thing got me for unregistered handgun. An unregistered handgun, so I had to write postcards to a parole thing, or what do they call it, pre-posting or something, I don't know, something about do with, with, if you never did it before, they're so crowded that 
I'll give yeah. you this one time to reconsider your initial criminal ju judgment. <laughs> That's the kind of terms you hear in court. You go, what? what was that? <laughs> Am I free or what? <laughs> what? Do I go? Do I walk? <laughs> Am I with Bundy in about ten minutes? <laughs> but yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll give you half the bodies now. Give me an extension. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that was true. Tell your oh, husband wow. that was all true, and then I'm lucky to be alive. Well, I also we also went and saw you at Poplar Creek last summer. Oh, that was I, fun. As a, as a gift, I bought my husband tickets. Oh, you're sweet wife. Yeah, you know, I mean, he just... He wouldn't just, it be the ultimate gift? That's why still with you. you know, wouldn't it be the ultimate the gift? To, huh? Wouldn't it be the ultimate gift to come home carrying Sam's child? <laughs> To give him the son of Sam, if you will. The son of Sam, if you will. <laughs> and I'm not talking about any Dave Berkowitz thing here. Right? Dad, I'll tell you, you're a very sweet wife. Are you, are you going tonight? Yeah, well... You're going tonight? And you we deal with that. We got it. You would make Compliments of Steve and Gary and the loop. You know, these are ones that we have. We have four tickets have, to give away. Two so. Wow. Oh, this is great. This doesn't even come out of your stash, babe. Oh, you can still go out and meet some babes. A, a show business term yeah. for you, DEA. For, tic agents. for tickets, for tickets. You can still go out and cop some babes before the show oh, with ducats. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Then maybe I'll tell you what. We'll get you. You gonna get them backstage? Because I'd like to meet you and your husband. Oh, you would. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Get them backstage. All right. We'll oh, yeah. take care of all that. What's your name? Nancy. Okay, Nancy. I'm looking forward to meeting all you. Right. Hang on, Nancy. Hang on, Nancy. We'll so, so that's two front row tickets for tonight, and we're going to get your backstage passes, too. Oh, okay? yeah. All yeah, right. And, Nancy, and your husband's going to be your sexual substance. slave. <laughs> try to bring a small amount of a controlled substance. <laughs> Understand, Nancy? <laughs> like corn I'll fungus. See, I'll see what I can do. All right, hang on. <laughs> Hello, you're in the air with Sam. And don't call up and start begging now, because we're only yeah. going to do it out of the goodness of our hearts. That's right. You have to get past Steve, yeah. who no, is none the of this is God of radio. <laughs> Hello, you're, you're in, in the air. air. Three comedic gods. Oh, uh, I, I bet you're that. naked right now, aren't you, pal? <laughs> <laughs> and fondling myself. God, I uh, wish this was in stereo on FM. God, I wish. <laughs> uh, Sam, anybody who reads the Rolling Stone article will see real easily that it's kind of tilted, if not slanted, in would, one direction. Well, thank you for saying that. I had that feeling, And he's not too. talking about your girlfriend. No, but I, I had that feeling. Anybody read it, you could tell the guy was out to nail me and hated me. It, it seemed pretty obvious. It probably obvious. has weird sexual preferences. It, just it a guess. It pretty obvious to me. And <laughs> None of our business. And please, I had a nightmare about this. <laughs> we had a 12-minute nightmare. All right. You're right. You go to Mexico, and I'm left <laughs> to defend you in a libel suit. <laughs> Where's Sam? Can't we have him extradited? No, we can't. Mexico won't do it. I didn't say it. It was on I didn't say it. It was on your show. Extra dark comedians. We don't extra dark comedians. <laughs> 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 Let's even Garrett take the fun. You and, cunt, <laughs> you and Cunting Floss hanging out with yeah. Peppy the Burrow. <laughs> uh, that's me. At all Storo Comedio. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm glad you saw through their BS. Man. Yeah, well, it was real easy. And, and your honesty is really appreciated, like Stephen Gary's. And it's just real refreshing. And they, you don't get caught up in the show business crap of, you know, everybody. Thanks, your babe. Friend. <laughs> And, yeah. uh, we are taking our pinky rings off to yeah. you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pinky rings are off and the white shoes, too. I got to know, did you really have Jessica? Yeah, I did. I had oh. sex with her twice. Oh, was it the sunset monkey? Yeah, baby. Oh. What's that? The HBO. Sunset Marquee Hotel in Hollywood. Have you seen that on HBO? Uh, no, but I, there is an uh, there is a reel of outtakes <laughs> where her breasts fell out during the uh, yeah, the video baby. that I'm trying to get the director to put together for me so I can make it a special gift to all my real close friends. Ooh. Well, where does the line form? Uh, here at the Loop, uh, at your local <laughs> video store, right behind Stephen Gary. <laughs> Thank you. On the way. Thanks. Bye. 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 Uh, do you check into John Belushi's room at the Chateau Marmont? No. You know what that is? That was a story that was per that, that went around Hollywood. I, I know this guy. This guy went to the comedy store. And because I haven't been there in seven months, this woman's lost a lot of money. I used to do a Sunday night show there where she made like twenty, twenty-five thousand a month. Yeah. You know? So that's a little bit of an income out of her pocket, <laughs> you know? So they're not big Sam fans down there right now. And uh, what it was was that there was a party held. Now, this was, of course, back, way back, when we did drugs and stuff like that. And there was a party held at the bungalow, and I attended it. That's all. I showed up. It was like four or five comedians that had rented the suite and said, you ought to come by. And I did. I just showed up at the party, and they were doing... <laughs> I'll tell you off the air. Anyway, well, <laughs> anyway they were doing, like, a controlled substances on the book Wired. Oh, good. All right? That's Jesus. normal. And then they, they drew the lines up to his nose. Oh, jeez. So that come if, on. if you were doing it, I didn't do it. I saw it done. 
But if you were to do it, you had to do the line like right up to his face. Oh, and, and they're like, yeah. Oh. So, I mean, it was a real fun, the lighthearted, funny Rome, group of guys. Yeah. In the too much bad karma in that. I mean, but it wasn't my party. I never rented a suite at the Marmont. Isn't that a weird uh, room to be in at, for any reason? Well, for, you know, I mean, I'm telling you, the people in Hollywood, especially comics and, and showbiz people, are weird, man. They're dark. There's some dark stuff that goes on out there. And but you, you wouldn't know, take a Jessica Hahn there. No, of course, that's no. not my move. Think, but, I mean, yeah, this, was, this was way back, too. We're not talking like last year. We're talking four or five years ago this went down, like 84. Really? Are these yeah. comedians we would know? No. No? No, not unless you went to the comedy store and, and uh, had your ticket stubs torn by them. You're in the Party air. Party of two? All right, wait a second. Who we got? <laughs> <laughs> You're in the air with Sam Kinnison. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Good. I'm rocking and rolling, brother. Hey, how are you? It's great to talk to three comedic geniuses. I'm telling you, I'm here with the gods of radio. Hey, all right. Listen, Sam, while you're in town, uh, there's a Chinese restaurant right down the road that I think you should try. They have really good soup. It's called Cream of Sung Young Guy. Cream of some young guy, huh? Oh, I've been there. I like the. I I prefer ordering the one well hung young gay guy. All right. <laughs> Thanks for your call. I'm sure Sam will stop in for a hot bowl. Yeah. You're in the air with Sam. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know, I had a birthday about three weeks ago, and I told my wife about five weeks ago when I first heard a concert. I said, "Boy, honey, it would really be nice to go to this concert." Hey, you're gonna beg, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> in the worst way. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah, that was pretty good. And it's your birthday. I need tickets. I won't bring my wife. I promise. We need a limited amount of a controlled substance. (laughs) So maybe we can trade out. This corn fungus, once again. That's a deal. It's an agricultural, you know what I mean. Yeah, Yeah. it's a joke. The theater's going to be ringed with uh, agents tonight. It's going to look like a Blues Brothers I'm, scene. I'm going home, man. <laughs> <laughs> you made your bed, now you uh, oh, wake up and no. it was some black guy fondling your genitals, sticking his <laughs> finger up your ass, because I ain't going to be in Cook County but, Jail tomorrow but Sam, having powdered eggs. But Sam, is that unusual for you <laughs> no. on any morning? Well, no. I, I live with two girls. You met them. Yeah. Sabrina, Malik, and my babies. The, or the whores, as Rolling Stone call them. The whores. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. yeah, they're real class, man. What a class rag. Although, uh, and they're both your girlfriends? Yeah, yeah. I love them both equally. I, don't, I, I had them out to dinner. I said, the good news is I've never been more in love in my life. I said, the bad news is with both of you. But, and they yeah. can deal with that? I, they have so far. Yeah? Yeah, there's no, there's no At secret. At the same time? Uh, if you're getting into that sexual fantasy <laughs> that every man has, yes! 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 There's nothing like waking up with them side by oh, side. Sam. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. And they wonder why I can never go back to the church again. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you have an image. Please don't tarnish oh, it here. <laughs> don't tarnish it here. All right, I'm sorry. I was out of line. No, Somebody they... draw another one. Oh, <laughs> pow. <laughs> yeah, you take it. I'm giving you the, you take, you take the drumstick. I can't keep up with you. Does this guy get tickets? <laughs> I think he needs to beg more. Beg oh, like a dog. On. Beg like a dog. I won't bring my wife, I promise. I won't get her nothing for her oh, birthday. Bring his oh, wife. No, he has to bring his wife. That's the deal. Well, we only have two well, more really good ones. You're the, you're the, you're the, I tell you, I no, submit I, to the gods no of radio. No begging. We move I on. I submit to the radio gods. I'm sorry, dude. Sorry. No begging. A he radio might, god decision. And, and he's not smart enough to know that Sam would want his wife oh, there. That's true. Yeah. Share your wife with yeah. me. You want to get the tickets for that? like the Sam? You Plus, share them. He might be in the front row yelling all night. You don't need that. That's true, too. You don't Without need a woman there to keep him in line. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're in the air with Sam. Hi, Sam. Yeah. He'd yeah, just be screaming, Alphabet! Alphabet! <laughs> do the alphabet! Oh, I'm here in psycho heaven, man. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Hey, I need you to yell at my girlfriend. Well, that's a an astronomical well, fee. Believe me. Hey. Ask the guy. Ask the promoters in Milwaukee. <laughs> 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 These guys, they meant well, but they booked my show last night across the street from the uh, the Bucks. The Bucks. Yeah, you know, twenty-two thousand concert paying fans. So the place I was supposed to play seemed like six, and it was like three. So there's <laughs> a promoter somewhere in his bathroom going. <laughs> honey, honey, you gonna be in there all day? <laughs> honey, open the door, honey. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> so what? It was too, what? The lesson is always read <laughs> the sports schedule. Yeah, before you book a Sam show. Yeah, because a lot of people that would come to your show were going. Well, to yeah, the, you know Milwaukee's a crazy town. The they love, team they love is their very sports, hot too. Man. Yeah, yeah, they love their sports. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I- I'm sure that you cut the guy a nice discount on your fee. You always yeah. do, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, just give me half. Give me half. That's all I want. Well, it's, 
we have a new. Uh, we just tell them to deal with my my management out in uh, Hollywood that never gives anything back. It's not me. I've got to take the money. It's not me. It's not me. Uh, that's it's what we the tell people in Hollywood. That's what Bill tells them. And we're gonna need that in cash, by the way. Call Howard. Call Howard. Is that the guy that I call? Yeah. Howard Kaufman, yeah. Well, Part, you, you, partner to eight, Irving days off. You Front are, line management, Pep. Yeah. You don't have that problem here tonight. You've no. been sold out for weeks. Well, Chicago. I'm, in the, I'm, I'm Stephen Gary's friend. I have him here with the radio gods. I've been blessed by the radio gods. Oh, yeah. Sam. The last time I did your show, and I did Bozo Poplar Creek. Yeah. Yeah, right? You, I did the show, right? We had, what, 1,800 walk-up? Really? Yeah, yeah we, get, we get no check. No check comes yeah. our well, way. I got something that's better than a check. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kinnison. Oh, my God. She's they naked. Like this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have somebody on the phone, and then we have to do uh, traffic and commercials. Hello? All right, Steve and Gary? Yeah. Sam? Yeah. How you doing? Good. Now, going. you wanted him to yell at your girlfriend? Yeah, I had bought her tickets for a uh, Sam Kinnison show. Yeah. And um, for, as an early Valentine's And present. she broke up with you? Well, yeah, basically. <laughs> so that was... Uh, very unthoughtful Valentine present. Oh, uh, see, she didn't know. Cause yeah, I'm giving... I know. She's a big Sam Kennison fan, but she didn't think that was appropriate. She wanted flowers. Uh, and I gave her tickets to your show. Beat her. And Tire down. Yeah, Physically I need, beat her. I, I need beat her with the, the tickets. That's what I need. You need a mom that screams? What's her name? Uh, Tina well, first Lewis. name. First name's fine. We don't want every serial killer in Chicago going, oh, uh, I know you're saying, Sam, I'll find her. <laughs> <laughs> this first name's in, that'll do. But What's her name, Tina? She won't give me the tickets back, so I can't go to the show. Oh, what? Yeah, she, bitch. Sure Can I say bitch? Go. Wait a minute, did she break up with you because you gave her Sam Kinison no, tickets? No, but uh, things were leading up to that. But she kept the tickets? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if I see her with another guy, she's dead now. Yeah, I know she's not going. Comedically speaking. What's her first name? Tina. Tina. Tina, Tina, wherever you are, you're a jerk. You don't deserve this man. If I was you, I would go out and look for some new action. What do you think, Steve? Um, I mean, seriously, yeah. man, give the tickets back. Even if you don't want to go to the show, yeah, she shouldn't I'd hold your tickets. That. You ought to go in and you ought to use her hair like the bridle of a horse <laughs> and give her some sex like Marlon Brando would in one eye jacks. <laughs> come here, you scum fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tickets? <laughs> No, I begged her and begged her for the tickets. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, lock her in a bedroom and do her for about three days straight. So she's like, I do, will I ever walk again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's your uh, plan. Thank you for calling. Oh, wait, wait, what, did you get rid of him? Yeah. We He's should give him some tickets, maybe. Yeah, oh, wait, hello? Oh. Hello, well. Hey, any man, if we sick now, any man that can't control his woman enough to well, get a ticket yeah, right. well, do, do, do we respect him? Week, I guess yeah. we can see why she broke up with him, oh, really. Yeah. <laughs> He's got other problems. He shouldn't be going to the show tonight. Women want achievers, you know? Yeah. They want guys to get things done. They yeah. want radio gods. They, they want say comedians. They, don't. they say they don't, but they really no, they do. do. They yeah. do. They do. They do. And here's Leslie. Right, Leslie? Oh, she's in her TV uh, mode oh. right now. Oh, wait. No, Are you Sam there? goes under and pulls her hair back like the mane on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Does it now? Leslie. <laughs> Whoa. Ow. Give me it's the travel time. 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 <laughs> time. Play on 1000 with Steve Dog, Gary Meyer, right. and Sam, Sam Kinison. And, and uh, humbly, humbly proud to be here with the, the gods of radio. Uh, we're glad to have you. And you You're guys the greatest. Are the best. Hey, I would. The last time you came through, didn't we? Don't we don't need any callers. This is blow each other. All right. <laughs> <laughs> me first. Me first. Uh, oh, sorry. I got to go. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy Chain. Daisy Chain. <laughs> Come a, on. <laughs> Daisy Chain. Did we have the uh, Brian Wilson tape last time he was here? I, I, don't I think can't so. remember. When you made me uh, cough before, yeah. you made me, made, me, made me laugh so hard, I felt it down on my balls. <laughs> we had the similar incident with Brian Wilson when he was here. It was like talking to a corpse. Oh, yeah. man. Is he that gone? Was, yeah, it was yeah. frightening. I heard her, all of his face doesn't move at the same time. No, no. Like that. So, I mean, and it, was, it was really sad because they were making him go out and promote the oh, album. You know, man, that's sick. I, but yeah. I know, I know, record companies there are like that. It was like a Muppet. Yeah, I want to talk about your record company and that okay. sticker and stuff. Oh yeah, what, what the hell is that? that? Just more bull. Employees at the record company don't like the material, so you can't they say BS, but you can imply BS. So they they go to management, and they say that they won't have anything to do with the album, like shipping it, and yeah, racking it, and all that, unless they put a sticker. Well, on it was saying, members, it was members of the gay and homosexual community yeah. that were very upset, and I was just, I went too far, <laughs> and they wanted the album stickered, and they wanted children warned. So they they want to have all their First Amendment rights, but you yeah. can't have yours. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because of their sexual preference. Yeah. They want their own political party or something. Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. And I maintain my constitutional right to be confused. Sam, I think you might <laughs> want to join Gary and I. In our, in the, uh, we started a little thing called 
doggy styles for Democrats. There you go. And yeah, because exactly. Because we, we do a doggy style you know, like exclusively. Behind, and, <laughs> and anybody that does it, that, that, you know, and I think yeah. we should have a special preference when we go out looking for jobs. <laughs> I should have a special employment for him because of the yeah. sexual, you know. Yeah. See, I can't, I can't, I can't get used to one woman anymore. I'm ruined. I'm gone. Ever since the twins. And we got the big back. hetero parade on Michigan Avenue every summer. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Course, the sexual yeah. preference should establish that you're different than the hey, rest of the. And we all do weird stuff in yeah, the bedroom. I agree with you 100, man. And and I don't, I don't, I don't I mean, understand weird it. Stuff. I know, I know. I'm uh, a nasty guy. Yeah. I'm Mr. <laughs> Devious. Are you? Yeah. Yes. Really? Come on, baby. Sam Kennedy. Hey, yes. <laughs> the fish is dead. What are you worried about? <laughs> <laughs> it's a red snapper. Get it? Oh, Sam. There's well, been some nasty things. Listen done. to when we almost lost okay. Brian Wilson here. All right. But really, maybe we should just go out and have some fun. Well, that'd be a good idea. Back, you know, t to maybe uh, you know, back to the good old days, the wild days, the tent in the living room, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, then it was get crazy, just kind of yeah, get crazy. yeah. But you know, with some moderation, huh? Because you've learned moderation. Yeah. Well, if you intend to have a blowout, then don't count me in. No, mm -hmm. no, not a blowout. No, just short of a blowout. All right, <laughs> just, just you know, short. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nobody shy. will have to call the paramedics or anything. Just, <laughs> just some fun, you know? Well, maybe we better I, not. I think we should. <laughs> That's Brian? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Want some water? <laughs> you didn't call Brian. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's all right, guys. That's all right. I had him here. I must have known. <laughs> oh, you all right? I'm okay. I just had a. I have a. Help cough. me, Ron. Help, help. Me, Ron. <laughs> he he sounded like you uh, for a second there. Oh man. Yeah, or me. Got any golf drops? <laughs> you will wear my mark. You will wear my mark. Anyway, it was kind of a sad thing. Yeah. God, all those songs. But uh, but I, that's I don't understand that. I, why you know why can't people respect other people's opinions and their and their right to say whatever they want? It, it, it just it's it's interesting. To yeah, Harvey Firestein. Harvey Firestein can do a movie. Yeah. Where I have to watch Matthew Broderick take his tongue in his mouth. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> that's okay. That's no sticker. That. <laughs> Let's let him do Letterman and, and let him be on the you know receive an Ace Award. Is that an Ace Award? Is that an Ace Award? An Ace Award. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. But because yeah. I say, they say heterosexuals die of AIDS, name what? <laughs> yeah, now all of a sudden, this is the most hideous joke ever told yeah. everywhere. Yeah. How yeah. can he say that? It's, it's the first joke that involves drinking human blood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So all I said was name one. <laughs> because you don't consciously think of guys, of, you know. And now you, that they, way. they made you put a whole AIDS oh, thing inside. Yeah, and, yeah, they did that. I had nothing to do with that. They went over my head. Mm -hmm. and I was. I found out about it when everybody else did. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice. And AIDS actually because AIDS victims need to support, and they need, you know, well, of course they do. Like I don't want a cure for AIDS. I want a cure You're for AIDS. You're doing some comedy. You're trying to lighten the mood a little sex bit. With total strangers. You know, <laughs> I want that thing cleared up. <laughs> No, no, no. That's the epidemic proportions. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing some comedy. You're trying to lighten the mood a little bit. But like I said in the stone, if they think that straight America doesn't resent the gay community for the spread of this disease, they're way off and they're wrong, because we do. Thank you. And, you know, hey, I've always said the thing is, what happens is... A lot of times people don't want to hear what's really happening, you know? They don't, man. Is the album selling? The album is selling. We're almost gold. We're over four. All right. That's since November 8th. So I guess it didn't really matter after all, the sticker and all, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't buy this. Really don't buy this. It's like, yeah. it's like what God told Adam and Eve. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't have, give him the apple. Eat don't. every tree but this one. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you have to put that in my head? <laughs> Wait till he falls asleep. <laughs> I remember the tree. Wait till he falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you want right. to uh, bring Bruce up here? Uh, sure. Yeah. Or do commercials. Well, what are, you're sitting over there today. In the radio so you, gods. You know the what's radio happening. Gods. Is right. anybody hungry? Do you, do you need anything I can to eat? eat? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Want to do another pizza? Sure. Sure. Right. We call Gino's. We get a couple of pizzas. Right. Oh, We're that'd ordering. Be the move. Are you kidding? We'll be here till six o'clock. You do that. <laughs> All right. That's we'll, the move. Let's do it. We'll take care of some business tonight. And then, uh, then <laughs> come Bruce back with Bruce. Yeah. Hey, hey, we'll... thousand. Steve and Gary and Sam Kinison here, and Bruce Wolf should be on the sports line. That's what we call it in the radio business. Yes. That's what we call it the sports <laughs> line. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sports line. Checking out the sidelines. And, oh, oh, that's too much of a sports line for me. Oh, uh. <laughs> What's happening, Brewski? Well, if I could just go quickly through this, because I always get nervous when Sam is on. Uh, I really have nothing to offer. I mean, I was looking for, you know, like maybe a Greg Lugane is sharing a needle with Brian Boitano's story to, to no, fit the occasion, no but needles. I couldn't find any. Aim on my tree. Yeah. Rush. <laughs> Smell this, honey. What's that? <laughs> Guys, I'm, my nightmare is starting to recur again. Uh, Please. Br yeah, this is. Yeah, you Bruce, do get nervous. You know, that was questionable the last time you did. Uh, maybe. Or some. How about? Uh, and Bruce leaves the country. It's me. 
It's me and the Boitano family in a courtroom somewhere. I didn't say it. I don't know. I wasn't. Gary was at the controls. He didn't hit the dump button. I didn't do anything. Uh, don't take away everything I've worked the, for. That's why Gary's on the controls. Yeah, that's the move. All right. Maybe there was I didn't have to make any executive decisions. I can just I sit I over here and be bad. I saw this with Jack Oakey and Jimmy Cagney. Yeah. He had the music like vice president. Yeah. He signed everything. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to make any decisions. I, I can just sit here and be bad with you. It's all right, pal. We'll get you out. I promise you. I'll take care of your wife and everything. It's only five years. <laughs> yeah, I saw that movie, too. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Gary didn't. Uh... <laughs> so far, you've only made about three mistakes that I can count, Gary. What are the other two? <laughs> I don't think we should bring them back up on the air. <laughs> Hey, Bruce. I was looking for some leper jokes or something, you know, maybe well. uh, about a hockey player with a face off in the corner, you know, <laughs> one of those standard old ones. But uh, I couldn't find any, so I'll just briefly, I, I quickly. I noticed uh, there's a, uh, an interview with you in the, Ill the new I Illinois Entertainer. Oh, you, you saw that one? The yeah. accidental oh. sportscaster? <laughs> I haven't read it yet. I just saw your name on the cover. <laughs> Me and then Frank Zappa. We go, <laughs> we go together. Yeah. Yeah. I've got yeah. a daughter named Moon Unit, too. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Hello. Bruce considers doing the sports and, and, and being on the air like a wet t-shirt contest like a riding a yeah. mechanical bull mm -hmm. yeah much like golf weight can uh, consider yes. comedy yeah <laughs> i think it's just like a uh, wet t-shirt contest for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh i want to beat that guy too i just want to beat him yeah i do too oh, he really oh, irritates he gets me. Under me man don the horse <laughs> It was John Candy. Can I do it over the phone? I don't have to. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> the uh, Bruce says here, Bruce Wolf, the barrister of baseball, the fan man, the fans man behind the microphone. Ah. Is that some sort of a homosexual reference to you, Bruce? The fans man behind the microphone. He may know something I don't. Chicago TV radio broadcaster Bruce Wolf brings a refreshing perspective to the all too self important state of pro sports. Well, Bruce, isn't it nice to be perceived in print? It's it's wonderful. I'm just looking at my rolling rolling sewer stone copy here to get <laughs> the same in. Illinois Entertainer is about uh, the poor man's rolling stone. Yeah, it's the I Illinois yeah. rolling stone. Well, I'm not going to put it down because they they actually put me on the cover, I think, this month and, and actually did a good article on me. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just wondering, not this one, but it's the, the last one, January. Yeah, think, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, that was a nice article. Here's This is Bruce here in case you oh, want to know your sweater. Bruce and his Wolf. little sweater and his it. legs crossed. Just I sitting want on him. the floor. Okay, I see what I want for dinner tonight. He's <laughs> meditating. Am I wearing black socks uh, with those sneakers? No, white like, socks. You just okay. look like yeah. you're, you're, you're <laughs> plotting something nasty and devious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that involves a lot of KY jelly. Okay. <laughs> Sam, do the alphabet. Do the alphabet for me. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. <laughs> Wait till you get to tea, babe. That's when they really go nuts. Hold off, hold off till tea. Yeah, I picture Bruce and the wife at the show tonight. Which stands for tower. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think, <laughs> to me, it was bold enough just to listen to the cassette uh, in yeah, the hey, tower with my wife. great, yeah. by the way. Thank you very it much. I edited that myself. unbelievably hysterical. I edited We it can't myself. play a lick of it on the air except for a while. <laughs> but... Uh, this one, the and first that, one I didn't get to edit. This one I said, I'm editing this myself. Yeah, it's going to come out the way the I difference. want it to. Yeah, yeah it's not oh. so choppy. Night and day, man. Yeah. Night and day. And that line in Wild Thing about tasting what other men had for lunch. Ah. Uh. You can, you're going to have to try See, pretty hard to beat that you one. you got to get drunk and high to yeah. come up with lyrics like that. <laughs> high up on... Um, sure, Mulholland Drive. Yeah, there yeah. is. That's what yeah. I would say. Yeah. They had yeah. some snow out in your neighborhood last night. Oh. God is coming down on your little town, finally. They shouldn't have messed with the, the, the comedy god and the radio gods, yeah. man. They, they, Sam they, killed a cat on his way into that's Milwaukee. That's right. They'll kill all their crops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Film a uh, little house on the snow prairie now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it funny now, Hollywood? <laughs> Uh, All right, what's happening, Bruce? Well, just briefly, uh, <laughs> kudos to Jack Brickhouse on his mention at Irv the Cups column today. Brick is on a mean streak. He's probably had about a dozen mentions in a row and at least 15 out of the last 18 mentions in the Derby with Sid Luckman. Sam, but you won't things, get some of this. It's no, local stuff. It's very local. <laughs> we, we have to stay here every day. <laughs> I'm starting to look like the RCA dog. Yeah, he's looking <laughs> Jack Brickhouse. Uh, Cup. Uh, I knew a woman who was built like one once. <laughs> I'll just give you the score right now. The happy totals, Brick, 4,956. Sid Luckman, 4,947. And Bob Surratt, one mucho talented <laughs> yeah, mention. Yeah. yeah, the kiss of uh, death. <laughs> Ozzie Guillen uh, signed for $800,000 today. 
Uh, come on. Yes, you did. Come yeah, on. 800000 You mean pesos. I spend that on breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you mean pesos. And Dwight Gooden, now there's a national name, uh, uh, signed for three years. Going to the rosin bag. A little <laughs> too much, that boy was. <laughs> $6.7 million. Faster? Yeah, I can throw it faster. I can throw it faster, yeah. <laughs> oh. And another item in Cubs column, John Madden and Pat Summerall have signed up again at Where's CBS. Is your wire machine broken or something? Well, I've got other go stuff the Cubs here, but uh, th I thought I'd stop yeah. with Cub today. Uh, John Madden and Pat Summerall have signed up again at CBS for a million seven each. Uh, is that Summerall's true value? Speaking of which, I hear, Pat, I hear Pat is going to be dumped as True Value's spokesman yeah. because uh, True Value is pulling almost all its sports advertising. Yeah, because that's seven. the last thing you want to be reminded about right. when you're watching a football game, right. yeah. that you have work around the house to do. Your wife sees it and goes, hey, go get a hammer. Or she might <laughs> oh, tell no, you to no, 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 barbecue no. something on the Weber grill, and yeah. then you can't even watch anything. So <laughs> You've got you to go. avoid those commercials. Is that it? There you have it. I mean, Thank you, Bruce. You know, Bruce, do what we'll you have to do. No, there's Sam's a professional. He knows some right, of this stuff. All right, sense. one last thing. Because we, we, we share that uh, perceived in print thing, yeah. man. Yeah, so oh, sorry. sure. You guys are hot. You're, one you're, last you're doing thing, the yeah. buku print right now. <laughs> Did you see where this West German court has cleared the way for one of the country's soccer teams to wear jerseys with uh, advertising for a condom? Uh, I hope the team is named the Wiener Schnitzels. So wasn't there a recent up for up for? There you go. Now you're seeing. Right. Now you're playing in. Wiener Schnitzels. Ah, ah. Oh, you know, uh, okay. <laughs> Um, wasn't there a recent uproar in West Germany over a hockey team wearing jerseys that had the emblem of Gaddafi's book on them? And we here in America worry about Jim McMahon endorsing Nike or whatever on a headband. I'd like to see Major League Baseball teams with condom advertising on their jerseys. Wouldn't you like to see the pitcher toe the rubber? Be kind of kinky. At least have the USC football team sponsored by a condom company. The Trojans. Exactly. The, Trojans. the Bears sponsored by a condom company. That would be something. Give new meaning to Otis Wilson being left off the protected list. Oh. Uh, Oh, there you and, go. And this is uncut. I'm doing my oh, own yeah. editing right here. <laughs> this is Bruce. This is his yeah. raw. It's raw. Yeah. It's raw. Bruce, raw, ladies and gentlemen. But we're in the leather right now. Mm -hmm. Wild thing. Yeah. But Otis Wilson uh, left on the, off the protected list. Um, He's going to start rolling around in a pit with Robin Brantley, his news anchor. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll watch. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Otis, uh, did I say he was left off the protected list? Yeah, uh, that, you did, yeah. That's stretching it a bit, uh, if you know what I mean, if you know Otis there. So, uh, Why, Otis, Otis got a big one? What are you trying to say? <laughs> He's the most well-endowed of the Bears, yes. Oh, he is. Yeah, but he, they, they're, they're cutting him. So <laughs> apparently the owner, the little white owner, couldn't ah, take it. Could take that hose. <laughs> Say, Mama, what's happening? He's considered basically a leper. Uh, you know, I on think the bears, so. I think it was Lewis and Clark on the Lewis and Clark expedition that said, if you don't have a big one, the next best thing is a best friend who does. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was on the Lewis and Clark expedition. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my wife's going to kill me. I mean, I wasn't even going to bring home the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue this year, but now I talked to Sam. Okay. And plus, you're dirty right now. You're very uh, dirty. I know. You the, go uh, right to a detox center. Fox 32 News moving to 9 o'clock again. Yeah, getting jerked around again, huh? They just can't seem to make it work. Well, you're getting whiplash from being moved around so well, much over there? I've worked in only one television job, but if I ever go for another one, I can say that I work on the Every 7 o'clock news, yeah. the 11 o'clock mm -hmm. news, the 9 o'clock news, the 7 o'clock news, and then the 9 o'clock news again. It's like a crap game. You know, come on, 7. Why don't they we roll the 7, up, we roll the 11. Give up and run some more Brady Bunch episodes. <laughs> <laughs> it's U he's, on a UH, he's on Channel 32 uh, here doing the news. It's the Fox station here. <laughs> They're not having a lot of luck. Well, is that, that's not the one Arsenio's on, is it? He used yeah, to be. He, well, he's yeah, on, he used to be. He's, he's like on a, the CBS affiliate. He's like here. on a four or five time loser streak with talk yeah. shows, isn't he? Yeah. But they keep giving him money. When yeah. can we, he's Paramount. When, he's doing it for Paramount. Yeah. When can we see Sam Kinison on Sajak's show? Well, he, had, he already had Goldthwait on there. Would you uh, go on and stab him? No, Sajak came to my New Year's Eve show. At uh, the amphitheater, and he used to come watch me. Yeah. I tuned in, I saw Goldthwait. I went, no. Well, you could see I, the... I might even have returned the favor and went on a show about that. No, yeah. he had uh, he had Goldthwait on there. He set his comedy standards too low. And I, I killed the cat. I put the curse on him. So yeah. I figure he'll be off by May, April, May. He's yeah. coming. And you're going to do Letterman Friday, right? Letterman Friday, so I can expose this rag for what it <laughs> is. And we're trying to find Brandmeier. He had the author of the article in Rolling Stone on. I didn't hear the interview. We're trying to find him to find okay. out what happened. But did you hear it, Bruce? 
This is. I heard a little bit of it. Yeah. yeah what did he say? Was there anything you can repeat well, or remember? I, I thought that uh, you know he took I threatened his good life. humor. Yeah, you know. But, he threatened uh, his life, and he said he was going to sue you for that or oh, press charges. I oh, I what, hope. I wish he would. I heard. I wish he that's would. What I heard Grandma. It's a little about. hard to, to press charges when you have a notepad and your scribbled handwriting. <laughs> and your and, and your your thing is a comedian. He, this yeah, guy doesn't yeah. want to take me to court. He Did you you left it on his machine or no? I talked to him talked directly. To him live. Yeah. <laughs> so he made his little notes. I see him get his. Oh my God. What what don't happened? Don't kill me. Please don't take whip. my watch. He's not a man. He's not from Illinois, first of all. Don't take my watch. <laughs> Illinois, we don't write letters of a disapproval or yeah. how I did not enjoy yeah. our... In <laughs> Illinois, we find your house, we go to your house, we wait for you, <laughs> and we bust you in the face. We hit you right in the mouth, or we grab you by the throat and slam you in the wall and keep you from breathing long enough to say, I told you not to write about my family, you... <laughs> yeah. That's how we do it in Illinois. Now, in that article, it says that you 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 do this whole scenario where you're going to kill your ex manager, and you talk oh, about yeah, he opens and, with that. That's real lightheart, and, fluffy and, stuff. <laughs> and then you find out you find out later that he didn't have an insurance policy. That on doesn't you. make him insurance? a nice guy. He's still a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> You were going to drag him out of his house and send him no, in front of his kids. It's my sense of humor. Obviously, it's my sense of humor. I know, I know, I know that, and you know that. It was but my somebody who humor. doesn't know is going to think that you're a murderer. Know what? He wants to take his manager out and shoot him in front of his kids in the head. <laughs> what? This is a very sick man. I know. It's like where is where's the laugh? But he didn't. But he didn't have a, the policy. So you went off a little half baked. Well, yeah. No. Well, I mean, I was I was gone on this guy ever since it took the yeah. movie deal that he screwed up. But. Yeah. By the way, I have I have your movie. Oh, good. So I can, I don't want to talk about it on the air, but I seriously right. I have a great idea. Have you heard? Oh, okay. And I, I don't want Bundy's story part no. two. <laughs> Bundy, the afterlife. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to pause upon our friendship, but I would like to run. I'll this give you half the point. bodies now if you give me extension, and I'll let you know where the other half are. Yeah. yeah. And what I a, might even a, have a few extras stashed away yeah. someplace. <laughs> what a move! What a legal move! Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, and oh, break a leg tonight, Sam. Thank you, Bruce. But yeah, not he he'll break that, somebody else's. Yeah, if he finds that author. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hola, Garimo. Adonde vas? Vas al Esteban El Hat Danzo. El Hat Danzo? Si. El Restaurante El Hat Danzo? Si. Con mucho gusto? Mucho grande. It, es un restaurante mucho grande. Si. Y, y servos luncho? Monday through Friday, oh. Si. Y dineros? Sunday through Saturday, oh. So bring your dinero. Si. Si. El reservations, oh. Exceptamente, oh. At seis. Cuatro, nueve, zero, zero, seis, seis. Muy bien, Garimo. Muy sí. bien. Muy bien, y tú. Gracias, Garimo. Sí. El hat dance es un restaurante en Girano y Orlinzo en Chicago. Sí. Garimo. Yes, Esteban. <laughs> venga, sí. venga conmigo a la hat dance y let's eat. At that, at uh, 325 West Hirado. Back to you, gentlemen. Thanks, Steve Gary Jim. and Sammy You've been awfully quiet this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's too full already. I'm going to just stay at my booth. <laughs> okay. Well, you're welcome to come out anytime you'd like. Come yeah, Cliff, just closet. jump in. <laughs> <laughs> and we're taking some calls, I believe. Oh, we have one pair of front row tickets left to yeah, see we Sam do. tonight, so let's see what happens. Sam Kinnison. Hello, you're in the air. Hi, I uh, just wanted to say hi to uh, Sam. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, pretty good. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm good. having fun. I'm with the radio gods. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, high, we're, we're looking for cats. You know where we get the, an animal shelter that'll give us a good deal on Sam cats? Sam kills them before fact, so. I do. Well, I like, to, I like to take a cat's life before I go on for good luck. Sure. Whatever, the, whatever that means. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hey, uh, I just wanted to thank you for uh, all of the years of entertaining uh, you've done. You've, well, you've uh, done a great job. You've entertained me several times. Well, thank you very much, man. And I, I love that movie that was uh, that you put out, uh, what, a year ago? I think it was the HBO special? Yeah. Great. Thanks, man. Fantastic. I was proud of that, too. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to put another thing together that should be out uh, near the spring or so. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the, the Valentine's Day thing with Lenny Bruce's mom that I'm doing. Oh, great. I'm going to tape that, and then we'll sell it to somebody. I'm getting smarter as we go yeah. along. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to seeing it, then. 
Well, thank you. It'll yeah. be out because I'm gonna. I'm decided to control my own projects and edit my own stuff. Make sure it comes out the way I want. Yeah. They can when stick you're doing it. Comedy, they you, can do whatever they want after that. But really, when you're doing comedy, you have to. You can't uh, let a, people that aren't funny tell you what to do because they don't know. They hey, Woody Allen's know. a great, great example. You know, I mean, not that I'm any comparison to, to what he does, but I mean, it, it, it's you do have to control your own stuff because yeah. nobody else knows. If they, they knew, they'd be doing it. It'd be like an artistic director here going now. Steve, do you really want to really want to say that, Steve? Yeah. It's like, yeah, get well, I've had a good time this afternoon listening to you guys. Then, then you're, you're plus, you start to second guess yourself, and then um, you fall apart completely. You know, this is the most fun I have on radio is hanging out here with these guys. Oh, really? The best. You're listening to the right guys, to the radio gods. I listen to them every day. This is the first time I've ever called. Uh, a little nervous. Uh, first time <laughs> caller. To you guys. First time but, uh, caller, long time fan, sir. Pardon me. First time caller, long time fan. That's what oh, you say. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks. Right. Thank you.